are sick, we pray. Then if we have about five minutes to reply request, we round off. For the five minutes prayer, we round off. Um, on, on Thursday, for the five minutes prayer, then on Saturday, by 10 to 10.45, not one, during GCK. If there's no GCK, program report by one. So please, we should we, we call for commitment. We call for commitment. It's just that this is coming is, is that we are not selfish. We are just after ourselves. Um, healing, deliverance, prosperity, protection. But souls to be saved, conversion, liberation, deliverance. We should come to intercede. We should come to pray. So please, I want us to resume that prayer. Uh, that prayer now. Because time is somewhat there. This is the time to support our GS in prayer. This is the time we need to back up our GS in prayer. We should not be vacating during GCK a day uh, due to GCK prayer meeting is canceled. What do you mean of all that? I think it's not right. We should, we should, we should, we should have a second thought about it. Then number two, I noticed that most of our pastors, if they are not needy, they are not online. Except you are on special assignments. And if you are not needy, you're not online. Especially pastors' prayer meeting, there are some pastors that since January, they have not attended this pastor prayer meeting. They have not attended prayer meeting. You don't understand. So please, all these lapses, if we are not seeing all these lapses, okay, this is wrong somewhere. We should be shaking up on ourselves. When, when you're not in the Zoom meeting, Pastor Yomi, I understand, I'll be calling him and all that. I know programs, what I say is fine and all that. But let's, let's be shaking up one another. If you are not needed, you will not connect. Instead of the day you are needed, you will connect. It's not right. It's not, it's not a good spirit. That if, if if the person that is going to need on, on Saturday not appointed, you 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 will not be online. If they say you'll be if, if they say you are going to that you are the one that is needed, you will be online. That is not right, it's not good. Please, we should wake up. We should because these are things that the, the Lord look at all these are commitments we are talking about. I told you, I told you every Sunday is my busy day. In fact, I told you I just left a, a group meeting from all from our group pastors and from uh follow up prayer. And I, I, the meeting starts around 8 a.m. and close by 9.30 p.m. In fact, I, as I log out, they are still on that meeting. They are still, I still log out to come and join this meeting again. And sometimes, except you don't know what some of us are going through. So please, I'm pleading. Let's, let's we talk about consecration, commitment. Okay? Let's be consecrated. And let's be committed to all these all this lapses we have. Uh, we give ourselves an excuse, a break, and then we we'll look back. When we we'll look, we we'll get to back to about demo, about ourselves, about this. We are not praying for the church. We are not praying for the GS. We are not even interceding, standing for the gap. And when the church program is coming, we vacate. Ah, we should repent from this. We should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should change our our mindset. And the publicity we start from tomorrow. I'm going to make the publicity on the board from tomorrow that we are having a new program now during the GCK. Prayer should continue through the GCK. And from 10 to 45 minutes prayer. Because even the minister's conference yesterday, it doesn't, it doesn't affect Ghana. It doesn't affect USA. It doesn't, it doesn't affect... of August, we thank the Lord for the privilege to always come to pray before him. We honor his holy name for that. I uh, want to pray now, our Father in heaven, we do thank you and glorify your name. We do worship you and exalt you. We do honor you and lift your name higher. We do magnify your name because you are God. Spirit of the living God, I come to you this day and this hour and this moment. And I'm asking that all glory, all honor and all adoration be ascribed unto your name forever in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm praying that this day and this hour, you will hear us from heaven as we call upon thy name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to begin to give thanks to God this morning, worshiping him, glorifying him, 
exalting his name, lifting his name higher, were bowing down before his throne of majesty. Let's thank the Lord. Let's honor the Lord. Let's glorify the Lord for granting us a good health. Let's glorify the Lord for keeping us and our spouses. Let's thank the Lord for preserving us and our children. Let's thank the Lord for working over us and God life. We bless you with the name for your goodness. I am. There's no God, no God. <laughs> Thank you for having me, keeping us and our spouses and our entire families. We worship and bless your name. Lord, we worship and bless your name. We say glory, honor, adore your thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' Lord, name, we pray. Amen. I want to thank God for a leader, Pastor Martin and his entire family. I want to thank the Lord for how God is answering prayer. i like us to know that even when there are existing challenges in anyone's life and the person keep praying or people are praying for the person and it's like obvious that to some people they are like, is God really answering this prayer? Are this prayer being answered? Provided well, no sin anywhere, that prayer is being answered. It may look delayed, but you take time and say, okay, you will not pray at all about it. That situation can become worse. That's to tell you that the power of prayer, even certain things that would have gone worse than uh, what and worse, or probably gone beyond the level they were, it is a prayer that is sustaining that very thing. I want to thank the Lord for his mercy over him, an angel and a kewami, even including mommy. I want to let us know that the fact that they have been preserved and kept and protected by God, it shows that mm -hmm. God himself is still displaying his mercy. There are many people that a lot is happening in the family that you just discover that there is pandemonium. As a result of that, maybe the man will begin to have all kinds of uh, high blood pressure, begin to have all kinds of terminal diseases and sicknesses. You check up in many families, check up all over the world. People are going through a lot of issues, and some of these people do not know God, so they can't even call upon God to intervene. We are thanking God on behalf of God's servant for his mercy. I'm telling you, if it had not been by the masses of the Lord, just like the scripture I read this morning, he said, if it had not been the Lord who had been on our side, the enemy would have swallowed us quick. Can you imagine that? If it had not been the Lord, I'm sure Pastor Peter can say the same thing, that it has been by the masses of God. We cannot say because we are pastors and leaders in deeper life. No, <laughs> it is not just by merit, it's by mercy. Where we are today, what we are today, I, I personally, I used to reflect over my life and I reflect over where I'm coming from. I reflect over the situation surrounding my life because I actually know where I'm coming from. I actually know the thing that had been following me in the past. I actually know how I left Lagos and went to Gabon. I actually know how I was using all those years, killing fish, in the sea and in the river. I actually know how I, you know, we got missing on the high sea. I've even written the story of my life on Facebook from part one to I think part six. And in all of this, so many people saw the thing that have befallen me in life. And where I am today, that a boy, a young boy who stopped going to school for after how many years, not one year, not two years, not three years, not four years, not five years, not even six years. I don't think it's even seven years. And then for such a young man to not still return to secondary school and still go to, and still went to university, even went to more than one school, it is messy, pure messy. And that's why as I reflect over my life, I know I'm a product of mercy. I just know it. I know it. How about if I had died while I was in Makoko? How about if I have died while I was in Gabon? How about if I have died while I was traveling to Gabon? How about if I have died while in that land? But God kept me and preserved my life. As you reflect over your life, reflect over the power and your humble beginning. 
appreciate God for his mercy. Please just thank God for his mercy now. Oh no, Amen. Your mercy that has kept us. It's not our power, it's not our life, it's not because of any special thing, but just for your mercy, you have preserved us. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thanks may be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. O Lord, glory, may we adore your name for all that you have for Amen. We are going to thank the Lord on behalf of our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Our God has been so awesome and powerful and mighty upon his life. And we want to give thanks to God for sustaining his life till date. Eventually, a father in the Lord on V, the man who brought him to the Lord, and I listened to that video, I listened to the whole thing, and, and I saw how God can, you know, you know, you know, uh, shape a man, transform a man, that a man can be so, or even his father in the Lord, the person who ministered to him, you can see that it's even an embodiment an epitome of humility, I mean, lowliness, meekness, and gentleness. We want to give thanks to God for the life of God's servant, and even the one who brought him to the Lord, that is still alive to witness of his own convert, doing exploits in the kingdom. No wonder we must not joke with evangelism, because we cannot tell the kind of converts what we bring unto the law. Let's give thanks to God for the life of these two generals because the man is a general. From the story I have read, from the things I have seen, and from the things I that I, I rather that I read on Facebook, I read more than the, you know, reading articles of different, you know, just I saw this, I read, I saw this, I read. And I can tell that that man was used mightily. It's not only the GS he brought to the Lord, it's not only GA that was instrumental to in developing. It's like a silent developer, a silent builder. Like that, he may not be well known all over the world, but he had built generous. Let's thank the Lord for his life. Let's thank the Lord for our Father in the Lord. Father, we worship and bless your name for the great things you've done to our Father in the Lord. We adore your name for our grandpa, the daddy that brought him to the Lord. Father, we exalt your name for how you have kept him alive to see the 50 year celebration of his son in the Lord. The great things you have done through him. We adore you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We reference you, Lord. We give you glory for all that you have done. We worship and bless your name. Father, we pray that you give us the grace that we will take to this challenge. In Jesus, precious, we pray. Amen. We want to pray this morning that the Lord will hear us. There will be no barrier nothing in us, around all, within all, we stand as a barrier to our prayer. As we raise our voices to the monarch of Zion, let him hear us and let him intervene in everything we shall be presenting unto him this morning. Shall we pray? Father, we come before your throne, we pray that you will Open the access to your throne to us this morning as we come in prayer, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, pray. Visit us this morning, Lord. You grant us access to your throne, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give us access, oh Lord. Father God, give us access, oh Lord. Access to your throne this morning, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I read from Galatians. 
blood cells are not by Completely lost war against the soul. But we are told that the antidote, the major way of overcoming carnality and fleshly lust, is to walk in the spirit. To walk in the spirit does not mean to be in the church 24 hours. No. It does not mean we're just walking on the road, up, not greeting people, not exchanging with people. No, it doesn't mean that. To walk in the spirit just means that to walk in accordance to God's perfect will, to be sensitive to the to the to the of the spirit, and then to understand the antenna, to understand the the, the demands of God upon your life. Not to respond where you are supposed to respond, uh, or when you are not supposed to respond, and to respond when you are supposed to respond. To be quiet when you are supposed to be quiet, and to speak out when you are supposed to speak out. That's walking in the spirit. To bring your mind under control. To bring your emotion under the influence of the Holy Ghost. We want to pray right now. Our home. When I mean our home, I mean husband and wife and children will be under the control of the Holy Spirit. We shall be led of God, led of the Holy Spirit, the greatest prayer. One of the greatest prayer you can pray for your children is that they are led of God. They are not led by their senses. They are not just led of their emotion, but they are led of God. Many people that get married today, I'm sorry to say, they are led by their senses and their emotions. And they will think it's God that is leading them, unfortunately. We want to pray. Our home will be led of the Holy Ghost. My wife will be led of the Spirit. My children will be led of the Spirit. They will be under the control of the Spirit. God, I will submit, O oh Lord, our Family spirit. totally yeah. to your leadership, oh Lord. Father, will submit our family. That spirit. is myself, my wife, and my children. We submit ourselves totally to your lordship. Oh Lord, you never lead us in all that we do, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we call the, all your throne of mercy. Oh Lord, we are praying. Uh, thank you, oh Lord. And you lead our full step day after day, time after time. In the name of Jesus, be our leader, O oh Lord. Lead us in all that we do, O oh Lord. Father in heaven, we come before your throne of mercy, O oh Lord. We come before your throne of mercy, O oh Lord. Father, we pray that you help us, lead and guide us in all that we do, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. My Lord, be king and so name we pray. Amen. There is a mystery of iniquity that is ravaging everywhere now, mm. and it has also gotten into the church. The mystery of nakedness, the mystery of just showing your body and showing the and if it's not under the control of God, it will be lost in anyhow and incessantly on the street and everywhere. The social media has been invaded by rascals, invaded by all these individuals who are highly promiscuous and highly lascivious and highly immoral and unscrupulous, very immoral, and they don't care. Some of them, you, if you want to see a man and a woman, all of that, you, you see them, they, are, they don't care. They can tell you openly this, that, 
And many children have been trapped, trapped by the things they watch, trapped by the things they hear, trapped by the things they see. Want to pray again? Wherever our children go, the Holy Ghost will grab them. The Spirit of God will grab them. Our wife will be grabbed by the Spirit of God. Do you know many of the crises, many old, many, and I use the word many, is as a result of not allowing, permitting the Holy Ghost to take full charge. I will explain myself. The woman has spoken roughly to her husband. She's not under the control of the Spirit of God, and so she just talk any out to the husband, forgetting that the husband is her head. She has forgotten what we call submission. She has forgotten the regard, the courtesy, the politeness, and the respect that ought to be accorded to the husband. And then, eventually, she spoke roughly. She spoke irrationally to her husband. The husband now is a Christian. Uh, is, uh, he has lost control. He was pain because he was unhappy. And then he altered the word back to the wife. And then and the then wife the was wife. now. And you call yourself a pastor. You call yourself a leader. You call yourself man of God. Can you see what is coming out of your mouth? But it was the woman who provoked the man. It was the woman who led the man to say what he said. And now the woman is accusing as if the woman were a devil. As if she is walking hand in hand with Satan to tempt the man and destroy the man. Eventually, if girl is not taken, the devil invade that home, invade that family. That's why this picture in Ephesians, as I read. Let's look at Ephesians. This is a, we are not just praying and praying and praying. Without praying according to scripture, Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, the Monday prayer is a very serious prayer for the home. And unfortunately, many don't care. Many don't even take it serious to spend quality time praying for their home. And uh, you see a lot of things they don't be doing in family. In Ephesians chapter 4, I read verse 27. Verse 27 says, neither give place to the devil. We are going to pray. Devil will not have an inroad in my house, in your house. Amen. In my home. Satan will, you remember that story that Pastor Peter told us of a man that left his wife going to another woman. And then the lady he was to mess up with, eventually what happened to this great that is a pure clean disgrace. That man has lost the control of the spirit. We want to pray. We will not lose the control of the spirit. We will not lose the, the spirit. We will not. Father in heaven, we lift up our eyes unto you. We pray this morning, committing our partners, O oh Lord, into your hand, committing our homes, O oh Lord, into your hand. Holy Spirit, we pray that you take over. Father God, you know, we pray that you take over. Lord, the Son, we pray that you take over. Holy Spirit, take over our, our conversation, our talking, our doings, our acting in the home, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up our soul, Lord, into your hand. Father, we are praying and asking, thee, asking for your help, O oh Lord. Father, come and tame our tongues. O oh Lord, God, never tame our tongues. My Lord, the King, tame our tongues. And you are the place that we speak in grace, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, daughter, for saying amen inside there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm reading Colossians chapter 4 in verse 6. One of the things that make the GS very influential, respectful, and as I regard among the overseers and leaders all over the world, I will say it, I will say it. I will say it was here is because he lived what he preached to the people. He lived it out. It is sin. It's not just his message now that is influencing life per se. It's life alone. It's a message to people all over the world. It's a message. If you were at the combined survey, not if you were. Why, 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 why
you remember that pastor or that is a pastor now is that man a pastor that man from zambia uh he made a statement i can still remember that statement that it's like nobody has influenced this lie uh as uh, the g he, he put, he's not a deeper life member pastor but he was trying to like how the GS life had influenced him so much that he began to say some things up, particularly that even some of our leader will not. And he began to say it out there to the church, to the whole world. Look at this. This is a man who can afford jets and he didn't buy. Buying jets is not even a sin in the first place. It's not. So the pastors who are buying or using jets, they have not committed sin by buying jets. So we should correct that one in the first place. But the man is just trying to talk about the GS uh, loneliness and humility. And he also was talking about uh, the way he preaches his life generally. And that's what we are saying. Because this man is under the control of the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking of job being baptized of the Holy Ghost now. I'm talking of every of your thing. You are under the control. I saying. Oh, I don't know how to put. Even the way you talk, somebody can tell. If you look like, are they talking to Jesus Christ? In your place of work, people are wondering. In the market, they are in the church. The church members, but it's just different. Now, look at.